Boss here, and today we're back with a brand new video. So, today I just got home, and you know, I got a notification saying that update needs approval. So, it was the Minecraft Pocket Edition update that needed approval. So, I got, I just went into the Play Store, and then usually I would go into press these three lines, but I'm not gonna do that because it shows my email information. So, what I would usually do is search up Minecraft. PE or MCPE and it would show up right there so I would click on it and it said update right where it says open and see I'm a beta tester so if you didn't if you want to know how to be a beta tester you'd want to go into the Minecraft uh, pocket edition tab or app where you can download it scroll all the way down and says uh, be a tester so that's what I did before sorry for that and once I updated it, like, everything just changed with Minecraft, like, there's the entire change log right there, like, not with all the other bug fixes and all that, it's just with, like, what they added into the game, like, stained glass, which is, like, people wanted this item for probably the longest amount, so, I would say that, um, people would most likely would wanted armor stands, uh, recipe books, ravines, um, they added a zombie villager spawn egg, which I see, in-game host options, which is really cool, uh, new loading screens with funny and helpful tips, so, you know what, we're going to, uh, open the game, and I'll see you guys right when I open it. Okay, so, I am loading up Minecraft Pocket Edition. And this is like the first thing that shows up. They added a brand new thing when it shows up. Before it was like Mojang, but that was only on iOS devices. So now we have. Oh shoot. Now we have a brand new. Um, what's that called? A brand new background for Minecraft Pocket Edition for the update. So it's really cool. Makes the game look a lot better. Um, another thing I also noticed is that. The skins, it it waited a little bit longer to show up. Like, it didn't show up right when the game came up. I don't know if that's because I used a custom skin. So, we're going to head right into the settings. That's going to be the first thing we go into. So, touch controls looks the, exactly the same as before. Nothing really changed besides, I don't know if this was in there before. So, we're going to go to keyboard. This kind of looked the same, they just changed how, like, everything looked in here. So that's really cool for, you know, if you like to change your buttons. Now they have added controls. Um, so, the controller settings are a little bit different than before. I use, I use a controller a lot when I play Minecraft Pocket Edition. So, I think this is a lot easier, instead of knowing what button is, like, because before it was like button 1, button 2, button 3. Like you wouldn't know what button they're talking about. So here it would show you what button is what. Then you can also change it. So it was like the same as before. So that's the same as always. So now we have um, the profile settings. These are, this is practically still the same. Uh, yeah, everything's still the same. Use cellular data. It's just the same. Okay, so next thing we got is global resources, still the same, uh, the storages, still the same as always. Now here's our, here's when other things change. So now we got the video settings. So this part, um, on, at this part, uh, what's that called? Everything stayed the same, it was just normal with the pocket stuff. UI, you can change it to classic. I like to keep it at pocket because it's easier. A uh, GUI scale, you can change that. I like to keep it at maximum. Uh, chunks, you can change that. Now here's one thing um, ch uh, change. Okay, so now we have auto saving. So that is really cool for auto saving. Like, it's really helpful when you have auto saving because, um, say you're just mining a lot and then it auto saves so that before your device ever like before your device like turns off or something automatically it will it will save but sometimes there's like a point where 
it doesn't save and then your device turns off so I don't really know much about it um, hide hand that's so that you just hide only your hand not uh, the entire GUI the entire GUI um next thing is outline selection I have no idea what that really is so I'm just gonna keep it as that I'm actually gonna turn it off I don't know what it is in-game player name so I'm thinking of doing some sort of challenge with this like in um like removing the in-game player names so that I can't see nobody and I'll just do like a survival games video with that so once survival games opens for 1.2 that's just that's what I'm going to do for survival games um split screen I I'm pretty sure that split screen doesn't work with Android phones but I think that's mainly for like a uh, PC and stuff like that so now we have the HUD uh, opacity so I think I can have like how many I want but I'm gonna just keep it at a hundred percent so that's mainly what changed in this um they still have the advanced settings and all that FOV I'm not gonna change that um that's really it like most of the stuff is in game the audio settings stays the same and language they still have all them languages so we're going to go right into a game as you see I already created a world but we're going to create a new world so we're going to generate random uh, we're going to just okay so here they have okay fo first they have the same survival and creative oh now they have hard hard mode which you have only one no, wait. no wait, they already they've already had hard I'm pretty sure I just didn't notice. Yeah, they've they've already had hard uh world preferences preferences. Sorry for that. Um starting map which is really cool. You ha you get to start off with the map instead of like make trying to make a map while you're in game. Bonus chest which most people would know what that is if if you played Minecraft on the console or even computer, you just start off with a chest filled with like food wooden tools maybe like a stone tool some seeds and i would believe like some wood uh trust players which on console they've already had this this is like some tool to use for like moderation and moderating and stuff like that so i can make myself moderator i mean or operator or something like that uh world type was the same cheats okay so now they have a bunch of stuff they have um Let's see, they have always day, do daylight cycle, fire spreads, TNT explodes, keep inventory, mob spawning, natural regeneration, mob blue, mob griefing, which is really good. So if you have mobs, um, they won't be able to destroy your world. Uh, tile drops, entity drops, drop loot, um, and the weather cycle. So that's really cool for that. That's mainly what they added in this part of the game like this all stayed the same so resources stayed the same stuff like that so we're just gonna generate the world and look how they have a brand new uh loading screen so and then they also added this thing so now when you when they load the game it's like xp bar kind of thing as you see it's filling up till the end and i should be in so as I'm in the game, okay, so I see that as I'm running, they add this little, this little, um, my skin dude, as you see, like, in P, uh, not PC, console that they have this. And then another thing I saw that they have, they need to fix is, oh shoot, they need to fix the, um, there's, there's like a little button there for like a controller. It shouldn't be showing there, but I don't know if it shows if a controller is connected or not. So, next thing we go into is the crafting or inventory. So, look at this. Like, custom constructions, equipment, items. Now, here's your inventory. Let's see. Okay, so now this dude, your skin dude changes. Like, your little skin kind of changes. Like, I wouldn't say your skin changes. It's just that this area changes so now instead of the entire thing taking up the in the whole screen you could be in your inventory changing your 
changing your armor, putting stuff in your uh, hot bar at the same time, and you would be set. So that's really good for like people that play survival games a lot. So that's something good. Um, let's see if I can. Okay, let's see if I can change my game mode. So they did change the chat thing on. So they did change that. So let's see if I can. Okay, so let's go to game mode. What, can I tap on it? How how do you do that? Uh, game mode. Let, let me do slash game mode one. Unless that won't work. I don't think that will work. Okay, I'm just gonna... Game mode one. Oops. I can't believe I messed up. I don't think it will accept game mode one. So I'll just do game mode C. So we're just gonna go into that. So now we're in the inventory. Unless it just... Okay. So we're in the inventory for the new cr uh, creative menu. So we're, we're in construction. So everything most likely stayed the same. Yeah, everything's the same. I really like how they added this stuff. Okay, so we're going to the next one. Yeah, most things stayed the same, uh, you know. So, we're gonna go into items. Okay, so, yeah, a lot- Okay, so we do have a banner right here. Um, I think I'm gonna put that right there. So, it really- And it also even tells you how to make one. Oh, so- Okay, so now I know what the, the difference is. So I can select what kind of armor I want just by tapping on the type of armor. Um, I can tap on the sword. So now the most things, the one thing that people wanted the most, let me pull it up, stained glass, which I'm pretty sure a lot of people wanted this block more than any block out there. So we're just going to go with these three glasses. So we have these pieces of glass. Something I really like about this, so I'm just going to make a beacon really quick. Uh... If you guys already know what what I'm doing, so let me just get like a piece of iron. Uh, where's the beacon? At? Okay, I think I just passed it. No. What's it? Okay, so they also do have armor stands. I completely forgot about that. And I'm pretty sure you can like, yo, you can literally change, have your um, have the armor stand hold an item, which is really cool. Okay, so where is the beacon? I'm gonna just search it up really quick. That's something that they also added beacon. Oh. What's... Okay, so... The beacon looks kind of weird in this. That's why I didn't know if it was. But... I'm gonna just make a 3x3. Three three. That's something that they have to fix. So I'm just gonna... Where's the beacon at? There we go. So now we have a beacon. So say I want to put a green, a green uh, stained piece of stained glass on it. It should have turned green. Okay, see like that? The beacon just turned green. So it's really cool that they added beacons into Minecraft Pocket Edition. So that's something that is really cool about this. And people were want people have been wanting for like the longest time so beacons are now officially added in minecraft pocket edition so you know what i'm gonna do let's see where is it um fireworks haha uh let's see which ones you know what? we're gonna test out these fireworks so these are like the first time fireworks add are added in minecraft pe so you know what I'm gonna get the elytra wings and we're going to we're going to fly and then use the um I think only if there was a way like to just quick like quickly put it in there so like if I just tap it it'll instantly go into my inventory instead of like but my question is what does the inside of a chest look like since I don't know like since it'll probably take longer than normal, so I'm just gonna grab a regular chest. We're, we're gonna we're going to replace that with that stained glass. 
gonna place the chest right there. Okay, so chest still look the same, so that's good for them for those survival game players. Because using that type of GUI takes forever just to what am I saying? Just to um it takes forever just to like grab items and by the time that you're done you're most likely beat. So can I So I'm going to try to fly. Yo look at that. Look at that I'm flying. You're actually flying. Like this actually works. I can't believe that. That's really cool that they added this. So we're just gonna drop down here. So yeah, I think I covered up most things. Oh yeah, I almost forgot about, um, not those, uh, where is it? The zombie eggs? Here we go. They added a villager zombie. Where is it? I think it's, nope, that's a husk. Here we go. They added a villager zombie egg. So they most likely have an egg for every mob. Including like wither skeletons, which never had an egg, so that's really cool. Um, beet roots. Oh, that's just food right there. What's under bread? What's under cooked food? Okay, so this is all the cooked food category. Raw food. Um, I don't know what this really would count as. Uh, food. Oh, food that you would most likely make out of a crafting table. These are ones that you'd put in a furnace. Uh, ones that you would grow most likely. So that's most likely it for this. Uh, did they add a new mob head? No, they did not. Okay, I thought I I thought they did. Um, you know that was already in there. You know I can't believe they still have the stone cutter in Minecraft PE because before, like I remember when it was it, it was the Minecraft PE was the only game that used the stone cutter and you just put stone in it. What's in under here? Okay, so you know a lot of this is already okay, so here's another thing that was added new Okay, and they also added enchanting books. Oh wait, they've already had that I don't I'm sorry for that So they added book and quill so we're just gonna open it. Let's see if I could put something in there Carlos or sub to Carlos Craft one one four five. There. Leave a like. There and now sign. And uh, that's most likely it. Note when oh. Enter a title. Sub. There we go. Sign and close. And now here's my book. If you want if you want to purchase my book, it'll be in the description down below. So yeah, just just go ahead, send me buy my book. It's really it's a really good book. So yeah. But all jokes aside, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please leave a like, subscribe, and also comment what your favorite feature in Minecraft Pocket Edition is. And I'll see you guys in the next video. See ya.